Welcome to Christian Pattern, a podcast where we teach the pure and unadulterated teachings and gospel of Jesus Christ. Hello, everybody. Welcome on board. We're going to go ahead and do some, uh, got to do it through two parter, unfortunately. But we can do that. We're going to do one parter and I'll swing around a little bit and I'll do the second part uh, because I've been behind uh, technical difficulties and the vicissitudes of life. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to first sing hymn number 80. Hymn number 80. God are our fathers, known of old. After this, we will sing hymn number 303, Keep the Commandments, and then I will offer the opening prayer. God of our fathers, known at all, God of our fathers, and mine, ye friends, who bring me forth, bring your daughter, where I am fine, with all our hopes. It was yet, lest we forget, lest we forget, forget. And the mouth and shining of God died, having nothing but things he barred, so hand up. I Lord, us yet, lest we forget, lest we forget. Here we go. Give me some time. We'll see if that works. It does. We got this. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments, in this there is safety, in this there is peace. He will send blessings, he will send blessings, words of a prophet. Keep the commandments. In this there is safety and peace. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we are so grateful indeed this day, the Sabbath, to have a chance for both of us to come uh, partake of the sacrament and renew our covenants. Father, we ask thee to stand with us and always remember thy son, Jesus Christ, standing in what he, on the promises of what thou hast for us. Say this in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. A reading of the ninth proverb. Wisdom hath filled her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed the beast. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. And, and saith, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live. And go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be established. The word of the Lord. And now go to uh, Psalms. Psalms 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest among the cherubims, Shine forth. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of the hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against thy people, the, the, the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. We're now going to go to Mark chapter 5. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, 
into the country of the gatherings. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because he had uh, been often bound with, cha with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice, and said, What are I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I implore thee, thy God, that thou torment me not. For he, had, he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, him, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him, much, that he would not send him out of the country. Now, well, now there was, now, there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, "Send us into the swine, that we may uh, enter into them." And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran lightly down the steep hill place into that sea, into the sea. There were about 2,000 and were drowned in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in, uh, in the city and in the country. And they, uh, they went out to see what it was that was done. And they came to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devils and the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And they that were, that saw it, told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how God great things the Lord hath done for thee. And have had compassion for thee, on thee. And he departed, and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for them, and all men did marvel. Please be patient. I have lost my place. 
all men did marvel. And when Jesus rose past over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. This story has always been an interesting story for me. I don't know how to stress it except to say this. Jesus, in, in the previous chapter, he used the power over the storm. He used the power of other priesthood to do that. In this case, it's possible that he was removing devils from them. But based on some experiences that I've had, it's possible that this demoniac also may have had some mental illnesses. And the Lord used the power of the priesthood to heal that. Now, I suffer from a mental illness, bipolar disorder. And part of this with the bipolar disorder is this. I know that I will not be healed of that in this life, but same thing with my blindness. But I am confident, confident in this one thing. Because of the atonement of Jesus Christ and the power of the priesthood, which will be in the eternities, I believe, I will walk someday before the Lord, blessed and being able to see with all the infirmities I had on this earth removed. But first, I must live worldly and pass the test on this earth. I say this knowing that the church is true. I say this knowing that the Bible and the Book of Mormon are indeed the Word of God. I know that Joseph Smith is a prophet of God, and that today we also have a living prophet, even Russell M. Nelson. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hope you enjoy listening to Christian Pattern. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Christian Pattern community. Until next time, it's Jimmy saying, remember who you are. Read your scriptures daily. And please, please, please preach the gospel. God bless every single one of you. And I want you to have a good day. Remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, really love you. God bless you. Have a blessed day.